and Heedle, uh, as well as Miller and Lafreniere being RFAs with uh, the recent signing up in Buffalo uh, with Dylan Cousins. Does that kind of spark anything for for the Heedle camp of, you know, this is the number we got to look at? It's quite possible. Uh, I, 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 I'm very curious to see how that the kid line performs uh, in the playoffs. Uh, I know that Lafreniere and Capo Cog- has been great this season. First of all, let's let's just mention that, right? Like he's been really good. Uh, he's coming into his own uh, on many nights. He's one of the top two, sometimes the best player on the ice for the Rangers, right? In in, in certain games. So, like, let's give him his let's throw him his flowers. Let's give him his credit. And with Lafreniere, of course, it's like the, the problem is is that you're going to get that scrutiny as a number one overall pick, right? Like that's just the way that it is. You will always have a brighter spotlight shining on you when you are picked first overall. You will always be compared to previous first overalls. You're, you're, you're compared to Connor McDavid, right? Like I hate to say it, but people like they just, for some reason, hockey fans, we don't temper our expectations for a first overall pick. We just assume that's going to be a factory of Austin Matthews's and Connor McDavid's and Connor Bedard's, right? Or whatever. Like it just, we just always feel like that's going to be the case. Uh, and, and, and they have to, you know, over deliver. Uh, and if they don't, then uh, it, it, it's a, it's a challenge, right? Now, there are certain exceptions to that. Like, I would say the Devils aren't thinking like that about Nico Heischer. And Nico Heischer is not like, you know, like Jack Hughes is certainly the superstar of that team. But Nico Heischer has done a great job as well. And he has, you know, becoming a responsible player on both sides of the ice. So, uh, but with Lafreniere, uh, he was good in the playoffs last year. He wasn't bad. And and remember, Capococco was a healthy scratch that last game uh, when the Rangers um, got eliminated. So uh, I wonder what that, what that line is going to look like in the playoffs this year. And that will uh, certainly color the decision on what will happen with Heedle uh, as we go into that offseason. 